weapon syllabus and that we're reintegrating weapons work back into our regular routines. I'm also aware that a lot of these techniques are strange and new and unfamiliar. We want to do as much as we can to help you learn them. So, of course, kind of a weapons class, that's the best way to learn. Okay. Tuesday and Saturday, second class is always weapons. Lots to learn. Our senior instructors have great depth of knowledge in weapons techniques. And there's much to be learned. Uh, I know that weapons techniques have improved my IQ tremendously, helping with my um, open timing, and understanding where our techniques come from. Uh, either uh, a weapons technique converted to a hand technique, or a disarming technique that originally was meant to take a sword or a, a dagger to um, So, to help you with all this, we're going to make some videos and put them up on our website and you can access them and you know, get those little fine points because I know I go home and think, is it cross death or shock home? Yeah. So we'll have uh, eventually all of the <coughs> techniques that we have on our weapons so we'll, just, we'll have a video for them all. Yes. So we're going to do the first one tonight and uh, we're the studio audience, so to speak. Yes. Um, but uh, no applause at this point. So I, I've asked you, Melissa, to help me out with the first technique. Yes. It's called Kote Giri Kote Osai. other kinds of leads, but in this technique, this one. Uh, since we're, our main goal is to work together, okay, we want to make sure we do that together. Then Melissa will come in and do a waist cut. Okay. So she's trying to cut me in half. Obviously, I don't want to be there. So I will enter and invade to the right and attack her wrist, go to you. Now, she's obviously in danger, so she circles away, cross steps back, and raises to tag me here. Come back one more time. And as she does that, I follow me. This is the Kote Osai, pin or control of the wrist. Okay, and that's the end of the first move. I signal to her to make her mind. Shuffle apart, we lower. Position. So all of that ending uh, after we made our Kamai is called Otoku. And Otoku means passive finish, important part of the technique. So we started here and we ended here. And as we shuffled apart, that was the signal that the technique is over. Stand down, we lower, and we go back to the place. So that happens after every move. Second move, same as the first. Raise. Melissa comes in. I evade and cut her wrist. She again cross steps back. This time I'm a little late. I don't get control of the wrist, so she thinks she's got a shot. So she comes in. I go over the wrist. Place my bow can um, along her neck, but in here we want to put it against the geese so we don't give anybody splinters. And as she falls into her cut, she falls along the blade. And, um, not a good outcome for her. So again, I threaten her by bringing my bow into her throat. 
She makes a Kamai. Also, we shuffle apart. Lower. And back where we start. So you can see there's sort of a, a, a cycle of circularity um, to all of these movements. Um, okay, so then number three. Similar idea, but this time I'm going to evade to the left. So I raise, cross step to the left, and attack her this. Again, she needs to get out of there. You notice she shuffled back this time. And I will follow, follow her in and control her wrist. Let's do that one again. So I need to really, as soon as I see that sword go up, go up I need to get in there. It's important that she shuffles back so that she presents this side of her body for me to practice on. This makes it a little easier for me to learn and practice and train. And um, so from here, I lower my open to the throat. And she goes, make it to my, not to the far, because I need to be the right to my. Shuffle apart. Last one, number four. So I said the same way. This time I'm a little late, so she comes in to cut. Place my boat in the this. So raise again. Okay, so um, as she comes in, about a 45 degree angle here. Okay, not completely. No, I don't go 45. And as she's moving, I will put it here, and as she continues to move, that's what's going to happen. And if I'm holding my Kamai, my actually in a shoi me stance, sideways skinny stance, that will steer her around me and keep me safe. Okay? And back to Kamai. 